These are some of the few survivors of the sinking of the USS Indianapolis, sunk by this Japanese submarine in the last days of World War II. The Indianapolis had just brought parts of the first atomic bomb to Tinian in the Pacific when it was hit. Out of the 1,200 sailors on board, only 317 survived. In harm's way, actually, is the be I think of the best. One of those is Maurice Bell of Mobile. While he is now 80 years old, he was only 18 when he was drafted and joined the Navy. After torpedoes hit the hull of the heavy cruiser, it capsized and sank in 12 minutes. Bell was one of the last ones to abandon ship. And I jumped from there into that water. How far a jump was that? I would say, I estimated about 30 feet, 25 to 30 feet. Bell knows what it's like to be surrounded by hungry sharks. He spent four days and five nights in the water, hoping, waiting to be rescued. I remember several times it got real quiet and someone all of a sudden let out the awfulest scream you ever heard. You turn just to turn your head around that way and just in time to see him go straight down. Never see him again. And all at once the water just turned a little red around him. He told me reports of shark attacks on the Gulf Coast bring back bad memories. Every time I hear it, it does. It brings back memories. And sometimes I'll just sit there and shake and think about it. and just thank the Lord every time then that uh, I see a shark just swim a few feet from me and never touch me.